Hello my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane and I hope you're having a great day and this is part 111 and it's the final one make race championship or series or whatever you want to call it that we'll be doing. In the last part we did the Volkswagen Lupo Cup and we won this. Um, and well we will now do the GTI Cup. So going to be kicking it up a notch, I guess, and getting our Volkswagen Golf. It's quite a bit heavier, though. 1,280. So even with the added 200 kilograms I put on the Lupo, it, um, yeah, 1105. Wow. Jeez, I really did put a lot on it. So I don't know how much these are going to be tuned. Um, I don't think, I think finally we won't be versing cup cars. So... That, uh, that's going to make it a lot easier, a lot better. So, yeah, no cup cars. And actually, my A-spec mileage passed my B-spec mileage again. So, it's pretty cool. So, since we did buy this Golf used, we need to do an old change. Got to do an old change. I like the golfs. They're pretty cool, I guess. I think they're pretty popular in some areas of the world. Don't really know that I've seen a golf in the United States. Um, I'm sure they exist, but uh, I don't know that I've seen one. Alright, now I'm just messing up. HPA Motorsports, I'm not surprised. So yeah, HPA, no wonder you can tune here because, um, you know, they have this full model here, this H, or, you know, yeah, only, uh, wow, only 32000 for that. And that's a really good deal. Really, all you would need is uh, tires. Pretty heavy though. Probably want to do some weight reduction. Yeah, that's really good deal though, man. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> oh man, sky. Okay, 1164. So now we're already down to the weight that the Lupo is. Just about, just 60 kilograms heavier. Hmm. I'll pay that for that. I don't know. Um. How much these are gonna be tuned? They're GTIs, so the fastest GTI. One fifty nine. That's pretty cheap. Let's get that. Just get a flywheel, I guess. Trying to keep it above 200,000. Not that that's really that important, but, but yeah, even with the stage three, this doesn't get up that much. So, like that HPA Motorsports, that's just 550 horsepower. It's pretty crazy. So, hmm, let's see. Like what? What's our opposition? What do we have to expect? So the Lupo GTI, which I just drove, the Polo GTI, like a cross between the Lupo and the Golf. So it's lighter than the Golf, but heavier than the Lupo. Nine seventy-five. Now mine wasn't a GTI. Mine was just the plain Lupo. So, yeah. That's right. And then the newer Golf GTI. 05. 
1336. So it does have more power though, 197. 1336. How much did I get my weight down to? So I guess for the HPA Motorsports, they took this and they tuned it up. So it has about the same weight, actually. A little bit lighter for this. But 300 horsepower less. Okay. Yeah, there are two low poke up cars. And it tells you, oh, this one only has 123. Jeez, man. And I had 200. Well, no, I had 170 horsepower. So 1336 is the weight of the, so I'm 1164, so I have a big weight advantage. I think we'll be fine. I just kind of want to know what we're up against. Not going to really win anything from this. Okay, this is the hot hatch, a battle between Volkswagens with a glorious emblem attached. What is this game's obsession with Sakuba Circuit? I really would like to know. Let's do Deep Forest first, because it's probably the one that'll give me the least trouble, and this will give me an idea of what I'm up against. <laughs> if it's like a 200 point race or something. Because you never know. I don't really think I'm going to need tracks control. Could be wrong. Turn it all off. Yeah, I think the 05 Golf has 190 horsepower, something like that. But, but I'm about 200 kilograms lighter, so. Let's see. 26 points. I think this is going to be easy. Matter of fact, I probably want to add another ballast. <laughs> yeah, that 05 golf, say he's leaving me. It's the other ones who are bringing down the. Yeah, it's the loop I want stuff that's bringing this down. If these were all 05 golfs, this probably would be 60 points instead of 20. Yeah, I think I'm pretty equipped with it. Oh my gosh, the old one's leading. The old 74 model, or 76, whatever it is. <laughs> kind of nice to be back in the sports medium tires. After doing the racing medium. what I'm used to. Yeah, we're killing them too hard. Killing them too hard. The 05 golf, let's see. See if he gains all many. I got a six second lead. Let's see what it is on the next sector. Which is right here. Seven point six, okay. I'm 
kind of afraid to put too much about. Well, I have nitrous. The 05 Golf really is the only one I need to worry about. I do like how this handles. That 05's getting away, ain't he? I wonder if the 76 got third. 26 points. Yep, it did. Wow. So we had the whole, well, we didn't have the whole family, but we had the Golf 1, the Golf 4, and the Golf 5. I don't even know what the Golf 3 or 2 look like. I can imagine, though. Just a nice little Volkswagen family. They must have tuned that 76 up a lot. All right, moving along. So I think next I want to try midfield because if I'm going to add a ballast on, that'll be a good one that I probably could test the waters with. All right, let's try it. Of course, it depends, you know. Oh, they're starting the 05 out front. Yeah, this will be a good test. It'll be a good test. Probably would have to have, probably will have to use the nitrous if I do all this. So it's um, 200 kilograms. So now we're pretty much the same weight. Pretty much the same weight. I really wish it would tell you what your... Uh, wish it would tell you more about your settings, but it doesn't. Like, I'd like to know my front rear weight distribution. And how much weight exactly I got and all that. Okay, so 51 points. So that 60 points is a uh, means you're even with the with the field. But of course, it could be a 60 point race, and the other ones be extremely slow, and one car be extremely fast. And so it, you know, it just takes an average. So. Yeah, I, I kind of doubt I'm even with this 05 Golf. Car still seems very stable. Oh yeah, he is pulling away. Yeah, because we're the same weight now, but I have less power, so. That 40 less horsepower is making a difference, I think. I think I took those curves pretty good, though. Uh, not really. Didn't really close the gate much. Oh, actually, not at all. Oh my gosh. I always try to take that corner too fast. Well, 
he kind of messed that up, didn't he? Hmm. Oh, he's leaving me. Ah, yeah. He's leaving me. I'm not going to win this without nitrous. This thing's really lackluster pulling that extra weight around. Look at that freaking gap between second and third. Ouch. Yeah, I think if these were all golf 05s, I think that this would be over a 100 point race. All the 76 got last. It did so good on Deep Forest. Hmm. Look at that Lupo in third. Lupo action. Alrighty. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's get this one over with. Because uh, this probably will be the worst one. And then we got two city tracks. Why do they got to start the 05 one out first? That makes this increasingly more difficult. Significantly more. So, hmm. I'll move this a little bit further to the rear. 17. Let's try that. It seemed like it's still very stable. I didn't really have any sliding or anything in the last race at all. Except that one time. hate it when they start the fastest one out first. I mean, I guess it makes sense, though. You know, because they would qualify. And, I mean, it makes sense that you put the fastest one first. But that don't mean I have to like it. Let's see, he's already got four seconds left. Now look at that gap, oh my heavens. And the thing is, nitrous is almost useless on this track too. Especially when you don't have traction control. This car seems to be pretty good on the traction though, unlike the Beetle. which I greatly appreciate. Hey, even, even in second gear, it seems to... 
Yeah, some cars are just better than others. What can I say? I mean, the Beetle is just, you know, meh. I mean, it is a cute car, but... About all it's got going for it. Beetle actually is really good in Gran Turismo 2, though. Surprisingly good. And then they had that... Uh, what was it called? Beetle... Beetle um, it, was, it was blue. It was a... It wasn't called LM Edition. I don't remember what it was called. Maybe it was LM Edition. Yeah, it was really good too. It's a blue racing model that you could buy for around five hundred thousand, I think. And oh my heavens, look how far back 30 is. Yeah, like pretty much just a race between me and the 05. Which really, I think me and him were even without me having the ballast on. But when I put the ballast on, he's better then. I had a little bit of a gap, but now he's getting on. Yay, we win. Man, race the medium tires really make a big difference, don't they? Man, got 105 with the Lupo in the. But they were lighter also. Heck, the Beetle had 220 horsepower. This all has 157. Yeah, I think the racing medium tires make the were the biggest thing, you know. Alrighty. Well, I feel pretty confident after that. I think we'll have this okay. So let's move on, move on, move on to Opera Paris, which probably is going to be pretty hard because I suck at this track. Thank God it's not reverse. I was thinking of that as the screen was fading in. They keep putting the 05 one in front, though, which really is aggravating. They didn't do that for the first race. And as soon as I put a ballast on, though, they put him first every time. See how it is, game. And look at the look at the map. He's already got a gap. Already. I gotta get around all these knuckleheads, which are gonna be no competition. When I mean, they're pretty much not even in the race, you know. <laughs> I mean. Oh, this is only two laps too. That McGain definitely was a lot less stable than this is. This is very stable. Okay, let's just get around. Can't believe I used nitrous right there, but what else am I going to do? Freaking God. Can't be doing that. Actually, we can do that if we want to lose. He's got a four second lead that I got to close. Well, took that corner pretty fast with race er, with sports medium tires. In a front wheel drive. I'm pretty proud of our little golf here. Okay, 
Yeah, usually they kind of suck on those corners. And usually I suck on these corners. Never fails that I mess it up in some fashion. Pulling away. Now he's not. Okay, time to catch your booty. Well, I kept it above 90 the whole way that time. <laughs> and once again, the um, third place is way back there. And fourth, oh my gosh, fourth, fifth, and sixth are just partying back there. Ain't they? Yay. <laughs> My goodness. I actually think the 76 might be the better between them. <laughs> All right. I think one more race and one more one make race and that's it. All right, and our final one make race is here at Hong Kong. Man, it's been good, hasn't it? It's been real. Oh, the polo starts out first. Okay. I guess the game listened to me complaining enough. <laughs> well, we probably won't even need to use nitrous on this since they started the 05 out fifth he's going for the pass trying not to be brutal to y'all but We already got past the 05. He's not really trying that hard to get around him, is he? And we know how slow these suckers go, judging from the last couple races. This is a fun track. I love this track. It can be pretty annoying, though. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to hit you, but kind of stopped on it. Come on. I really don't know how I'm faster than it because I'm stalked. I mean, all I got on this thing was a weight reduction stage one, but I added 200 kilograms, so that made me heavier. I might have put a computer chip on it. I can't remember. So I really don't know how I'm faster. Uh, maybe that was a polo. The polo only has 123 horses. And wow, just like that, I'm leading, leaving them. And I don't even know this track that will reverse. Like that ladder car, I always take it too slow. His hairpins I do pretty good on them. 
or these right turns, not really hairpins. These right angle, t right angle corners. take the corner faster but uh, I love how this golf handles I wish it tuned a bit or I might use it for some other stuff but I don't quite think it would crack 300 horses Might get up above 300. Now, if we got above 350, we might be talking. Although 5 did get in front, pretty much take this almost full throttle. I went very slow last time, but also didn't hit any walls. Wow, he already has broken away. Jeez. What a difference. <laughs> 76. 8.2 seconds. Nobody else finishes. Well, that is that. All of the one makes are done. Which I think is pretty groovy. Pretty groovy. So I'm thinking, hmm, for the next... I'll see what our prize is. Oh, a 1976... Looks like can golf one GTI. It's pretty cool. And I think this might be the only hmm, could very well be the only uh game that this one's in. I don't remember this golf being in GT six. I don't know about GT five because I don't really remember that one as well. But hmm, I don't remember it being in six. If so, it's a car that I definitely overlooked. Sadly. Nothing really special in here, is there? 75%. All right, well, we got the short stuff out of the way, though. So all the events we have coming up are going to be longer. So this is kind of a big turning point or climax or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, we're getting to the climax, let's say. So... We still need to finish the European events, which, you know, those won't be any big deal. Um, and then the hard rally events. Boy, I can't wait for those. And this thing has 110 horsepower. Stock, wow. No wonder it held its own really well against the Lupo and the Polo. And it's lighter weight. Oh, that's a, that's a doll, ain't it? You know, we might be able to use that for one of the Swartz leagues. I may just see. Yeah, I think before we move on to the European events and finish these, this will be the last thing I do in the uh, European events, but we will do it. Classic car league, that's going to be fun. Yeah, that golf might be able to do one. Oh, this golf apparently can do the Swartz League A. So, like, what's the... How do you define this? A uh, fierce competition using the 200 horsepower plus German sports cars. Oh, so... Hmm, this one's not 200 horsepower plus, but... 
it'll get it up to him the horsepower. What is this one? Oh, these are the very powerful. I got you, got you. The nearest thing to raw power battle between three to four hundred horsepower German cars. Yeah, I don't even think we have any roofs, do we? So, hmm, interesting. So, our little. We might actually use that golf for something. No, I have a lot of things that I haven't used. So, that's kind of the thing I've been trying to do is use stuff I haven't used. So, so yeah, that was pretty fun. So, yeah, join me in the next part for even more fun and action. So I hope to see y'all there. This has been Sky, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Hey, my friends, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. There are a lot of reasons to subscribe to the channel, including monthly giveaways, things on the Discord, such as karaoke Saturdays, a place for show and tell where you can advertise your own channel or your own talents. Regardless of what you choose, stay awesome, everybody.